ask is, what is sacred ecstatics? These days I say it's opening a special jar of honey and looking inside and seeing the cosmos. You feel yourself awaken in a way that you have never known that you could experience. It sets a fire inside of you. That's right. It sets a fire in your bones. That's right. We begin in the old way by opening the spiritual door through music. The sound of Brad's piano fills the room. But we're just waiting for spirit to arrive. And when spirit arrives, in comes the lightning, in comes the electricity, the atmosphere changes, and all of a sudden, we're all caught by something greater than we ever knew before. There's time for teaching, for movement, for chanting, and for live healing sessions. But always the main goal is to get out of the way and let your spiritual heart rise. One thing I think we should share is that Hillary and I make sure before we begin a sacred ecstatics event that we don't know what we're going to do because that would be getting in the way of how spirit wants to work. We allow spirit to have its way and have its say. You're trying to get caught by an, an extraordinary sacred vibration, not just any vibration. Something's got to catch hold of you. It really is like being plugged into spiritual electricity. And when you receive this sacred vibration, it makes your body tremble and shake with blissful joy. And when it gets inside of you, you find that you suddenly have an inner jukebox. That's right. You have a, a music hall. You have a ceremonial ground where more than anything is felt rhythm and music. If there's no rhythm and there's no music, then the divine is not near. If there's anything sacred ecstatics will teach you that's different than so many other ways, is that music is the channel through which the divine communicates and touches you. When you are close to the divine, the sacred band starts to play, and the beat is filled with soul. When somebody comes up to the front of the room to have a session with us, that session is really for everybody. And this is really the most powerful and I think even oldest way of healing, where it's done in community. Because what happens for one person is really a medicine for everybody present. One of the true unique joys that we experience in this work, we regard everyone who shares their suffering and ask for help and healing to actually be the bearer of a gift, of a teaching for everyone that's come. So our job when we move into the space for healing is to help bring forth the inner resource, the gift that your suffering is actually trying to give birth to. And when everyone shares their gift and their teaching, we find that the whole community is blessed. I think people are really surprised when they find out how many people say this was the most profound experience of their life, that they'll be different forever. We can't tell that's going to happen, but people tell us this is really what surprised them the most. When you get struck by spiritual lightning, you find your rope, your power line, your telephone line to spirit. So what's this all about? What does it bring to your life? It brings the creative life force. It brings surprise. It's unpredictable. It fills you up. It's like going to, sacred ecstatics is going to the spiritual gas station. That's right. Fill her up. Everything else is just talk. Forget whatever you've heard about energy. We're talking about something not subtle. The room is crackling with electricity. You might find yourself inspired to dance, but this isn't about dancing. You'll find yourself inspired to sing, but this is not just a workshop on song. We're inviting people to go past spiritual practice. We're inviting them to be improvised by the divine. 
This is the kind of joy that grandparents, parents, children, and grandchildren can all share together. It's for everyone. So we don't care whether you think you're spiritual. We don't care whether you think you're religious. We just want you to walk through the door. Because when you walk into this electricity, it doesn't matter what you've ever thought before. Because this is a place that's about an atmosphere of surprise, spontaneity, spiritual electricity, where something can touch and change your life. When you come to Sacred Ecstatics, know this, we don't care what you believe. We'd rather you turn and look at a leaf. Leaf. That's good. When you come to Sacred Ecstatics, know this. We don't care what you believe. We're actually more interested in getting you to go outside to say hello to a tree and look at its leaves. That didn't make any sense. Belief leaves. It's belief leaf. Belief leaf. Oh, yeah. You feel like you need to cross over. And...